Hello, my name is Scott Cush. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I'm going to quickly talk to you about sanding and polishing cast iron. This video is a response to the many hours of video I watched, rather the minutes of video that I watched over and over and over again to try and figure out what's the best way to sand and polish cast iron. I'm going to say right off the bat that the companies that I've contacted that deal in cast iron have said to me, don't sand and polish cast iron. It's good after the factory has seasoned it. It will require multiple seasonings in order to get a smooth surface and that rough texture on the bottom is designed to adhere that oil and create that plasticized cover which will create the nonstick surface. Now that I've said that, uh, I personally, over my uh, months of my research, through just reading and watching videos of how these things are cast, of how the process has worked over time, seeing old cast iron as opposed to the new stuff coming out, I think that there's a way to make these nice and smooth. And thanks to some of the previous YouTube uh, video uh, um, submissions out there, you can see that there are ways of getting a surface much like what you see here which is quite porous and you know, there is a lot of rough texture here to something that's a lot smoother. Now this cast iron piece here is a set of three that I found in an alley. It was all rusted. There was a real sense that uh, the people who were using this prior had no idea how to use it or perhaps they bought it as, as a gift. The closest I can find is that uh, this cast iron was created by a company called Camp Chef, although they don't admit to it. The pictures I found online to when it was being sold uh, clearly has this um, maple leaf on the back. Cast iron, my experience with cast iron so far uh, just in my research is that um, there's a high-end uh, cast iron and then there's a lower grade uh, cast iron that they sell and uh, they sell it as fast and as hard as they can and I think that's how they stay in business they just precast a lot of product and just flood the market with it most of the time you're going to be using this in the camp environment I think that's why they sell these at um, Cabela's and Camp Chef is because you're going to be using cast iron over a fire uh, but they do work great at home over the barbecue and over your stove. I'm not going to talk about the differences between carbon steel and cast iron. And I'm not a connoisseur. Uh, there's many people on YouTube who, who are connoisseurs of this. I just found that their videos were more about the seasoning process than the actual sanding process. And when they showed the sanding process, it was uh, very minimal. I've had to kind of glean the information as it comes. So the, the few videos that I've watched, the ones that I think are credible, I'm not going to hand sand this. I'm not going to put a, a jar full of weighted metal over sandpaper and just sand this out. Uh, what I've decided is using a powered option. I've got a drill, so I'm going to use a drill bit kind of scenario. And uh, there's a video out there showing how to sand with the Avanti Pro Quick Strip Disc. And this is a pretty heavy duty disc. I bought this at Home Depot and it's designed for uh, steel, like metal, wood, plastic, fiberglass and I'm going to use it for this cast iron to initially just strip it of uh, its first layer of um, seasoning as well as uh, the rough sections of metal. My experience on the video is to show that eventually this will start to take the shape of the pan and it will really um, not gouge as much as my next step which is the 40, 80 and 120 grit um, circular discs from D Diablo. Again, we bought this at Home Depot. And then I'm going to hit the 220. And I'm likely going to do the 220 on the pan and then the square pan uh, because the skillet is going to be very difficult to get in those inside the, uh, the grill there. So. With this one, it's probable I'm just going to do the top section, um, lightly do it, and this will be seasoned um, 
as best as I can to make this as smooth as possible. But when it comes to these nice smooth surfaces, I don't want to gouge them like I've seen in some of the videos. I'm going to take my time, start off with the Vanti Pro, move on to the sanding, uh, the sandpaper of different grits, 